Welcome to another Friday night. This is On Fire Family, and this is Happy Hour. Cheers. Cheers. Well, sometimes things don't go exactly as you planned. It has been a week. It has been a day. And so we decided to make a video about uh, when things aren't all peachy keen. Yeah. So we are in Grand Haven. And mm -hmm. we have been on the boat a month, a little over a month. Mm -hmm. And I mean, some days are not. Yeah, it's mostly great. Mostly mo great. Mostly great. Yeah. Uh, but then sometimes it's not. <laughs> So we thought we'd talk about some of those because we want to be real. Yeah. Because we don't want to be the uh, polished Instagram. Uh, everything's always great. I don't even have Instagram. Um, family. So uh, sometimes it's hard. It's real hard because, well, like when something goes wrong and you're at sea, it's not. It's it's more cataclysmic than if you're in your comfortable house. Uh, yeah. For sure. So I guess the biggest thing for me as a captain of the boat is we're learning out uh, what sea state mm. is acceptable for this family and this boat. And it's lower than I thought. <laughs> the boat can handle it. <laughs> yeah. That I have learned. The family tops out at about two foot waves, mm -hmm. probably less. <laughs> this would be nice. And winds we don't know and winds interacting with waves we don't know we and it depends if it's broadside or yeah the direction so mm -hmm. we thought we had all that prepared for and equipped and we had our like we don't go if it's over two feet mm -hmm. uh and we thought we had that all dialed in and we left chicago and we went into some stuff that was a little bit bigger than we wanted but then we thought we figured it out yeah and then the next little hop mm -hmm was had, more than was that more, yeah and we thought it was going to be less than that yeah and so that was our bet and that's when i was rethinking our life choices yeah yeah in fact you said that well i think you asked me that and so i like that saying now rethinking yeah. my life choices uh and that was maybe two to three foot waves and high winds and uh for four hours outside mm -hmm. uh or two and a half hours of the four hours or, or something. I don't even remember. I mean, a lot of people put up with a lot more. Yeah. But. And I think, yeah, I can handle it. The boat can handle it. I can't handle it when my family's freaking losing it. <laughs> so we learned that. Mm -hmm. um, we learned like some mechanical things on the boat. Like we've had some issues, not some self-induced, some <laughs> unexpected but uh, and nothing big like this. It's not like a, a Volvo diesel has given us any trouble or no, anything like that. They're great. Uh, there's the the full float on one of the black water tanks. Uh, I guess is not functional, not and so we overflowed it. Mm. And so somebody's like, "What's that smell?" It took us a couple of days to figure that out. Cause we're like, "Look, it's not full. It says it's not full. It's not full. It must be the shower drains are yucky." And so or... we went through all of that, the shower drain, and cleaned out that sump and Disgusting. all the, the everything. And so then uh, that plugged the uh, filter. carbon filter, mm -hmm. and then that caused a problem, and that blew the breaker for the yes. vacuum flush yes. on the full tank. And anyway, it was a very embarrassing trip to the pump out. And well, and that was in high winds, and so it took a couple times to get in. And he's like, "It's fine." And I was like, "It is not fine. We gotta pump out." Yeah, so get we, this boat in. Yeah, so we. Oh yeah, I was actually kinder about it. Anyway, you learn some things about your boat, and that's we learned a thing that yes. that's not 100% functional, at least on the forward tank. The back tank, we don't know. So we thought of a list of just things that have gone wrong, and we're very thankful for all the things that have gone right. This is a dream. But there are things. Yeah. So one was the locks can take forever. So much so that we had a 23 hour day on the, the Illinois River. Yeah. So that was a big one. Um, yeah, food tank. Um, we already talked about how we had to go to urgent care our second day here because our kids had influenza A. Yeah. Ugh. And bronchitis. 
And then the dog, the dog. This was this week. Yeah, during the whole poo smelling up the boat, some other smell was going Sorry, on yeah. that maybe we missed because of the uh, the the anyway general smells and uh, yeah, it was a smelly dog. So I brushed her out and washed her and still smelling dog. And I was like, how can this be? And so we're like, oh no, something's wrong. So luckily there was a vet within walking distance of the marina and. We both took her, and it was a multitude of problems. Yeah, Parents, ear infections and yeah, eye infections. infections yeah, and bacterial eye infections. Maybe allergies for being in a different yeah. locale that she's used her to. Her anal glands were too full, and so that was a lot of a smell problem, I guess. I don't know. Uh, poor thing. The poor thing. So, blessing is that the vet is like a mile that way. <laughs> yeah. So we were able to walk the dog to the vet, yeah. get it all taken care of, walk right back to the boat. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, the bummer thing has been getting reservations and like extending reservations. So this marina we're sitting For at, the marinas, we yeah. might want to like sit a couple of more days here uh, because it's close to everything. Mm -hmm. West Marines, like and Home Depot. a mile away, Home Depot's a mile away, mm -hmm. the vet, everything is like right here. Brew pubs, it's been terrific. But then uh, we have to leave tomorrow morning. We got to leave tomorrow morning. And uh, we're going to go anchor out and it's going to be awesome. But. Uh, yeah, it's been busy, it, and it's mm -hmm. not been the, uh, you can go anywhere, stay anywhere for as long as you want, kind of. It's not, yeah. yeah. And yeah. with a whole bunch of loopers coming around the Michigan Horn soon, it's going to get worse as we change direction and head south um, with with the group. And so, if you're looping, be aware, be ready to anchor. Yeah. And... Or just uh, call ahead and yeah, be yeah. prepared to make multiple phone calls. We thought it'd just be like... Oh yeah, we'll just like mm -hmm. scoot in anywhere. And that's yeah, not been the our problem. Is that there's place. there's a lot more seasonal boaters that are staying in their marinas for the whole season than there used to be, and so there's just fewer spots. Um, oh, I was just thinking, my beloved matching prescription sunglasses. I left probably in a gift shop at the fantastic Chicago Museum of Science and Industry, um, and they have not been located. And so I like ordered emergency. Um, sunglasses off of Zenny and they barely tint at all. <laughs> and so that was a hundred dollars that I won't get back. Yeah. So you need some sunglasses. I need sunglasses. Yeah. And where do I ship them to? Yeah. So shipping, yeah. logistics about getting your mail. Mm -hmm. There have been some important, like, uh, I, I quit my job, so my 401k. Like That just happened today. They just, I mean, like, he just got that uh, mail in some, today. Some mail went to the wrong place, and then uh, oh, and yeah, that's Amazon. Right. We already talked that where I went to the wrong marina. So then sometimes like Amazon can get it to you in time, and sometimes it can't, and then you're mm -hmm. at the different marina, and that has been. We kind of expected a little yeah. bit of that, but it's been more there's a, than we thought. Uh, there's a lot of learning patience and grow, growing in character. <laughs> growing in character. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then when you're on like the pinnacle, like when you think you've just got it all beat and you're having the best day, tonight we went to dinner <laughs> in town. Everything was oh going great. Oh my gosh, great. we had just a beautiful the boat sunset. Like we cleaned the boat like inside for and five out. hours today. Yeah, and the kids were fantastic and didn't even complain. And they're like, yeah, and we scrubbed it. out the dinghy. Like for the first time, we scrubbed out the dinghy. We got and the girl's mu mustache off of the front of the boat, which is awesome. And, yeah. And then we cruise yep. into town, we go to a brew pub, mm -hmm. uh, we did some shopping. Some delicious Italian food. It was amazing. Yeah. And then we head back to the dinghy to come back here and hooligans and or wildlife threw a dead fish right into the dinghy. So dead. Not like, oh, it just flopped into the boat. Dead, Eyes dead. pecked Eyes out. Like, dead. Uh, stinky fish. And the hat killed the bug. almost got. I mean, Our kids gagging. are like, yeah. Dead fish juice, like, on our life jackets that we had to put on. And so our son had a brilliant idea of why don't we use the pump to pump in water from the river, water. The river to yeah, and clean out the dead fish. To, because we still had to get in the dinghy. We did not have an option to not get Maybe in it helped the smell. Maybe it didn't. But uh, anyway, sometimes you think things are going great and then... Uh, so that just happened. So that's kind of what instigated this whole video. Today. Life hands you a dead fish. Mm-hmm. But honestly, we're we're blessed. If there's more positive than negative, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, 
But when you're going through the negative, sometimes it doesn't feel that way. It just feels like it was like a lot this week all at once. It was. And yeah. we've had a schedule, and they always say the worst thing you can have on the Great Loop is a schedule. We met up with my brother, as mm -hmm. you know from the last video. Uh, that was a schedule. Uh, there were, you know, people on our boat, and so that takes its toll. Yeah. And then, you, you know, you want to impress visitors and things, and so you want to um, stay at a nice place and this and that. And so mm -hmm. you you work the schedule towards that, and so then it... Um, it kind of bites you. Anyway, so we are looking forward now to less schedule. Going with the flow. More going with the flow. Mm -hmm. More just, um, if the weather is not conducive to going out, we don't go out. And we just... Um, yeah, we do what we do. We do what we do. Mm -hmm. So, sorry for the uh, Debbie Downer video, but we're being real and... Yeah. We'll, we'll keep on traveling. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you for um, all the support. You guys send us so many nice comments. We really appreciate mm -hmm. it. It keeps us going. Oh, we did find somebody that uh, just walked by and, and recognized us, and that was fun. Yeah, that was so Eric, so shout out to you yes. that uh, came by right here in this marina, mm -hmm. and uh, we appreciate people stopping by. We're about a month behind, like, production date yes. to release, and that's a little bit on purpose and a little bit on... We just so. we want to enjoy our loop, mm -hmm. and so we're filming this now. I don't want to put this out like tomorrow night. I <laughs> like I, uh, you know, we're moving the boat. We're going to go on an anchorage, so we're mm -hmm. we're trying to uh, find a balance between enjoying our loop and getting you guys up to speed as close to real time as we can. So anyway, right now we're about a month behind real time. So if you see us heading towards your like sweet. Uh, yeah. dock, marina, town, and you have a great brew pub recommendation, a great anchorage recommendation, mm -hmm. you want us to uh, meet up sometime, uh, let, let us know. Let us know early. But know that we're <laughs> a, about a month out. So yeah. um, we're, we're in Michigan, we're heading north. So, all right. Thank you guys. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>